Hey everyone! Blender's texture editor can seem kind of basic at first glance, but it actually has quite a few options if you know how to navigate to them. Something that I've found handy was how to add, create, and use custom brush shapes, so let's cover that real quick. First things first, go into the shader editor. We need to add an image to our shader so we have something to texture on. Hit new to create a new texture, I'm just going to leave everything default. Now let's head into texture paint mode at the top of the 3D viewport. Over here in the tool tab we have all of our brush options. You can create multiple brushes by clicking this icon, and you can see the full list of your brushes by clicking the big brush image here. There's a lot of options, which can sometimes make it confusing to find the ones you're looking for. What we want to do is create a texture mask to act as a custom brush. So under the texture mask dropdown, hit new here. Clicking this icon will take us to the texture tab, where we can choose what texture to use on our brush. If you have one saved to your computer, hit open and navigate to it. If you don't, I'll show you how to make your own brush textures in a minute. I'm going to use a star texture I made earlier. Head back into the tool tab and scroll back down to our texture mask. By default, it's set to tiled, which will tile your texture onto your object based on your viewport's perspective. If we switch to view plane, we can stamp the texture onto our object wherever we want. The tips of the stars kind of fade out because of the brush fall off, which is handy if you want your textures to blend together. But I don't want this for the star, so expand the fall off drop down menu and switch to constant fall off. Now the blending is gone. You can rotate your texture by adjusting this angle value, and you can have Blender choose random rotation values by selecting random here. There are other mapping options like Stencil. It's all fairly self-explanatory, you know, just kind of play around with it a little bit. By customizing your brush settings, it can make texturing a whole lot quicker, which is very nice, especially if you have a whole bunch of custom brushes already created. If you want to make your own custom brushes in Blender, it's pretty simple. Switch over to Eevee and delete the default cube. Select the camera and hit N to bring up this menu. Zero out all of the transforms except for the Z location. Hit numpad 0 to enter camera view, and go into the camera settings tab over here. Switch to orthographic view. Now in the viewport, create whatever shape you want to use as a brush. If you want to create a star for example, add a circle. In this menu, change the vertex count to 10. Go into the output properties tab, and change the render resolution to adjust the size of the camera. You can use whatever size you want, I'm going to go with 256 by 256. Select the camera again, and go back into the camera's properties. Adjust the scale until the shape takes up as much space in the render area as possible. Now select on the circle, and tab into edit mode. Make sure every vertex is selected, then hit F to fill in the face. Switch to vertex select, in the select menu, choose checker deselect. Then scale down to get whatever star shape you want. Now we just need to finalize the colors of everything so the brush works correctly. So let's head into the materials tab, create a new material, switch to a white emissive shader. And in the world properties tab, change the background to black. The colors are a little dull, so go into the output properties again, and scroll down to color management. Change from filmic to standard. Now you can head up into the render menu, and render out your image. Save it to your computer, and you'll be able to use this texture as a brush within Blender. And that's all there is to it! Since you've got this scene all set up, I recommend making a whole bunch of interesting shapes, then you'll have them ready to use as brushes in the future. Thank you for watching! Hopefully you found this useful! Please like and subscribe! If you'd like to help the channel grow, share the video! We also have a Patreon! Thanks again, stay safe, I love you all, okay goodbye.